Good morning, everyone. I love coming to OSCON. This is, I feel like I'm with my peeps at this show. Uh, today I'm here to talk about the Open Container Initiative, formerly the Open Container Project, formerly confused with the Open Compute Project. So we changed the name to OCI. You know, uh, coming to an event like this, uh, what I love to think about is the importance of being on the right side of history, right? I mean, think of all of the accomplished that all of you who've come to this event year over year have witnessed because what all of us are working on really is on the right side of history. I mean, think of it. Open source, right? How many people here need to be convinced of open source? Let's hear it for its right side of history, right? Open source. Come on. All right. Containers, right? This is rev let's hear it for containers, right? Like the right side of history. The year of the Linux desktop. Let's Yeah. There we go. All right. Two out of three is not bad. All right. Uh, but containers are a big deal. This project that I want to talk about and give you an update on today is one of the biggest projects I have worked on since I got started with Linux. The container technology is so hot today because it is on the right side of history and is really revolutionizing the modern data center. It's a movement shifting from a sort of server view of the world to an application view of the world. And an application view of the world is going to enable developers, it is going to be able to deploy technology faster and at faster scale than anything we have seen before. And, you know, I'll use the analogy of containers and perhaps it's overused, but it really is changing the data center the same way shipping containers changed the shipping industry. And you know, containers and shipping were around for a long time. They started kind of in the late 1800s, really got used in the early 1900s, but they really didn't have a massive impact on industry until they were standardized in the late 60s. And uh, ISO really created the standard. They started in 1968, the ISO 668. They refined it throughout 1968, 1970. It took them a couple of years. But really, this is kind of how containers in the shipping industry are defined and how they are used today to create trillions of dollars in value in terms of how we get and ship goods everywhere throughout the world. And what the entire tech industry agrees upon is similar standards are needed for container technology in the data center. And that is exactly what the Open Container Initiative is doing. Now, it's kind of crazy that an open source guy is up here talking about open standards, but that is really what we're doing here, and that is what is needed. With one small difference from this, which is that we intend to move a lot faster than taking several years to get this done. And I want to be clear about what exactly this project is doing. I'm not up here to announce another foundation. This is a project underneath the Linux Foundation. And it's something that virtually everyone in the technology industry wants. It is a standard container format and reference runtime that enables portability across operating system, hardware, architectures, private, public clouds. It really does create a world where an application developer can create an application using a container and that will be portable across all of these different environments. That, all right, thank you. I think the person who started the applause has been working on that concept for over 35 years. <laughs> All of us have. We've seen this before, and this time, a, you know, sort of a confluence of events is really enabling this to happen, right? And work is already underway. Docker contributed the initial specification and runtime, run C. It's already up and being worked on on GitHub. The initial project draft is already up and available on opencontainers.org. We will be rolling out a certification program in coming months for this effort. And more organizations are signing up every day. 
Just to give you an idea of how broad the support is here, we already have support from every major public cloud service provider, organizations like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, IBM, others. And today we're announcing even further support from many new members who just keep joining this initiative every day. Industry giants like Oracle, Companies like Twitter are all hopping on because all of these organizations can see the tremendous value that this initiative promises. So what I want to leave you all with today and encourage you to do is join in on this. This really is going to change how data centers get built, how technology gets deployed, but most importantly, how application developers will be able to create interesting and innovative applications and will just be able to deploy and scale them faster than they ever have before. So please join us. You can go to opencontainers.org. You can jump right up into the GitHub repos. You can go and work uh, in, in, on the, uh, both either the runtime or the specification and we welcome all of your support. And the last thing I wanna leave you with is that in containers, even though we're standardizing the container format in runtime, there is a lot of work to do here and a lot of innovation to come. Because the cranes and the trucks and the boats and all of the surrounding technology that are gonna move us to this promised land of container technology still have a lot of innovation going on. Whether it's within open source projects like the Cloud Native Computing Foundation and things like Kubernetes and Mesos, whether it's at projects like Docker with Swarm, whether it's an OpenStack with Magnum, whether it's in things like Cloud Foundry that's doing terrific work around supporting containers, there is all sorts of innovation going on. And what we're seeing is just an incredibly fascinating, nuanced world of open source, where you see all of this interesting work going on in places like Cloud Foundry, Cloud Native Computing, but you also, and, and which are cross company efforts, but we're also seeing cross project harmonization where developers are talking about hey, we want to work on bare metal, we want to work on this form of orchestration, and sort of harmonizing this world and complementing it, and sometimes competing and just continually raising the innovation bar. That is how far open source has come. It's not just a movement of a hobbyist group. It's not just a movement of companies. It's a nuanced set of organized groups that are going around and sharing ideas and really moving us to this new next generation of the data center, which is really based on container technology. So I encourage you to participate in any of those projects that are innovating around this, but most importantly, please join us in defining the future of the data center at the Open Container Initiative. Thank you.